Hallo, heute sind wir im Luropark. That's the new exhibit of the Pygmy Hippo and you can see here two females, one is Malela, that is the one that you are seeing now chilling in the grass and the other one is Adela. Malela came from Kernitz Zoo in Germany and Adela came from Pilsen Zoo in Czech Republic. So they are going to live together here and, and I, we hope that everything is okay. Uh, for this exhibit, uh, we need to do a big effort in the filtration system because the quality of the water is so important. Okay? They need the best uh, quality for the water to keep their skin in the best condition possible. So it was the hardest part of, the, of the create, uh, creating the new exhibit. No? The pygmy hippos have a very sensitive skin, so we need to take care a lot of the skin because it's so sensitive to any uh, harmful from the trees or branches or whatever. So it's very important that we keep all the surfaces the, uh, very smooth okay, to allow the pygmy hippos not to suffer any injury okay, because they are so sensitive to the skin. Also it's important for them to have uh, some matte bathing okay, for, to protect from the sunburn and uh, it's very important to take care of the skin. It's the weakest point of the pygmy hippos. The pygmy hippos, uh, you can see that they're very, very big, but they just eat uh, fresh vegetables, um, fresh browse. They are completely herbivores. So it's for these that in our fincas, we are growing a lot of crops for, for them to come uh, to be able to offer the best quality of food. So every day a pygmy hippo more or less can eat like six kilograms, five, six, it depends on the size of the hippo, of fresh browse and vegetables. So they are all day eating, okay? They, you can feed also the pygmy hippos with hay or big quality hay, okay, or some polyvore pellets, okay? But we decide to feed in the most fresh uh, produce that we can, we can grow and in our fincas, okay? So they are completely herbivores. the new exhibit of Limus, Limucata, that they are in the nature in Madagascar, as you probably know. Uh, this is a family group, the parents and the newborn that were here in April, and they are here representing the, the wild ones in Madagascar, because they are so endangered, they are very endangered animals. Uh, you probably know they are prosimians, and that means that are the primates that change the less in the evolution. Okay, so it's for that reason that they look more like squirrels or small dogs than proper primates. But they have many, many adaptations uh, that are typical for primates, like the binocular uh, vision, the pentadactyls. You know, they got five fingers. Um, they got the adaptation that they live a lot. So it's for this reason that we create an environment with a lot of branches that allow them to jump from one branch to another because there's the normal locomotory system, you know, the leaping in the, in the nature. 
They normally are fruit uh, feeders, okay? they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and we offer here also a lot of browse, fresh browse from or fincas and exotic fruits because it's very important that in captivity you offer the fruits with more fiber intake than sugar intakes because it's very common that the fruit and uh, fruit feeder animals uh, eat uh, when they eat a lot of fruit but high sugar intake they have a lot of problems it's for that reason that we offer more tropical fruits with more uh, that they are uh, higher in, in, in fiber than in sugar wenn ihr jetzt noch Fragen habt, schreibt sie unten in die Kommentare und wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, würde ich mich über ein Like sehr freuen. Damit ihr kein neues Video mehr verpasst, abonniert einfach den Kanal.